In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys the best money making guide on high pixel skyblock. So I would appreciate it if you guys would like, subscribe, and let me know some other money making methods down in the comment section down below. I would greatly appreciate it if you did that for me. And now I'm going to separate this into three separate parts, early game, late game, and mid game. So let's hop on with the video. Let's go dive headfirst into early game money making methods. First, we're going to go over some early game money making methods. These are pretty easy to do and you can just start off with a thousand coins as you guys can see. They're really easy to do. I'm going to show you guys how to do it. So first, we're going to open up a bazaar. One, you can get access to the bazaar if you get farming, mining, and foraging level 7. So then we go over to the bazaar and we start looking for differences in the buy and sell price. And if we look at gunpowder, right, we see that there is about a five coin difference. Or, you know, three coin difference. So, if we were to go and buy a stack of gunpowder, wait for that to set the make. You can see I have two coins. So, or two, not two. There we go. We have 64. Now, that costed 774 coins. So, if then, because we bought it for only 12 coins, so we're going to sell them for 16 coins each and make 300 coins profit just from doing that. And once all of that sells, in which, when you're doing a sell order, you might want to keep watch and keep watching your number because once that your number goes below the first one it'll the first the top one is always the one being filled first so you have to keep yours on top if you want yours to sell faster as you guys can see this is done so we just made 300 coin profit and with that we're going to do it all over again. And it's just like that. You can make tons of money. I would go for bigger ones. Bigger like differences. But this is just a good example. Let's see. Wolf teeth. Yeah, there's some of these that can go for really good prices. Now another great money making method, and this is a much, much, much more risky option. AH flipping. AH flipping, otherwise known as auction house flipping, is when you go to the AH and you look for something that's selling for under value. And then you buy it and you sell it up for higher value than you bought it, making you some profit. Another good one is NPC flipping where you can go to the NPC you buy something let's say gunpowder is going for 10 coins and then you see gunpowder sells for a higher price here you buy it from the NPC sell it to the bazaar this is really OP because the price at an NPC never changes so then you buy it in mass buy out each NPC and don't buy first look at the price first before you do anything like this what you do then after you bought them for 10 coins each there you're gonna sell them for how the best price on the bazaar and just like that we lost five coins from there and made 10 coins here doubling our money just like that there's a lot more options like rotten flesh bones all of this you have to check and make sure on the bazaar first that the sell price is higher than the buy price then you can make a profit just like that 55k and those are all really good early game but what should you do mid game well, mid game, we're gonna have to assume you have a skill average of 20. I have a skill average of 24.6, but I don't really try on a lot of these skills. For example, combat, mining, forging, all that. I don't really try. So, 
we're gonna have to assume you have a skill average of 20 a little bit below mine skills help majorly whenever you're trying to make money in fact i would say skill av skills help out like 300 percent more yeah crazy so with your skill average of 20 you're gonna have to go to your island and i would recommend you make some farms this is my carrot farm it isn't completely done because the basco seas is currently glitched but i would recommend making a sugarcane farm first a sugarcane farm is really good for making money and also gets your skill average and also get you more farming levels it's really op i really enjoy it and not only is that but if you have go to your controls set this to left and set that to space then all you have to do, whoops, sit back, hold down space bar, and if you do the forwards backwards method on your farm, where you actually have like a space at the end, at each end, so you can go back and forth, you sit here by clicking two buttons, you can just sit here and farm. I'm not moving my mouse, I just have my finger and my thumb down on space bar and D. And just like that, then you go back and you do S and space bar. And just like that, you can make so much money. And as I showed you in the beginning, just from me harvesting this once, I got 13 enchanted sugar cane, which got me 600k. And this is a really, really OP one because you get farming XP. And if you have an elephant pet equipped, like let's, then you get so much more. You get more speed, you get more crops, more everything. And it's absurd because all that farming will help you get more health and more stats average and get you into higher guilds. And it's it's incredibly OP. Now, farming sugarcane is great, but there also are some better ones. Like, for example, late game you can farm carrots and some other crops. But we're currently mid game now. Let's focus. So. Another big one is going over to the dungeon hub and doing frag runs. If you go around over here and you see, I believe Sadan, I don't know how to pronounce the name, Sadan. Yeah, he has these golems in his boss fight. If you rush him and then kill those golems and die, you are basically doing a rose run. Do that, sell the roses on the auction house, you can make like a mil per hour it's really good for for how much time it is it's one of the best ones mid game and to late game even now my personal favorite money method in mid game to late game is if I can actually go to where I want to go is snow minions once you get enough minion slots like I have, as you see right up there, I have 23 minion slots. And I have them all set up to where they have an enchanted lava bucket, some kind of hopper, diamond spreading, and a super compactor. And per day, I get about 1.3 to 1.4 million off of these minions alone. It's really OP for how much it costs. In which these usually can go for 1 mil, 1, 1 mil to 1.3 mil. So, you just bargain and you can get them down to like 1.1 1 .1 mil. And these will make up themselves off in a day or two. And yeah, that's mid game. And again, while you're doing all of that, you can also bizarre flip, AH flip. They're really good money making methods. Yeah, as long as you know what you're doing, know the price and value of items. Like, let's see. If we go here, a while ago there was one going for like 25k. Buy that, put it up for 55k, and then you make massive money. Now, if you have all 20 minion, if you have 20 minion slots, the best snow, the best minion is snow minion for how much the diamonds they make and how much snow they make. And you can get a ton of money. This is also better than clay because you get way more money because these guys work so much faster. 
and I believe my best one right here, because I have a magma bucket instead of enchanted lava bucket, five seconds in between actions. That's five seconds. Every five seconds, they get four coins with a chance of getting a singular diamond. That's really good for how much they're worth. And if you keep up this over time, you're going to get more and more. You just buy more minion slots, buy the recipes, buy the stuff. And you can buy even more snow minions. Buy more minion slots, buy more snow minions, make a monopoly off of it. Now, with all that money, I would recommend you get a turning sugarcane to hoe. And you start saving up your enchanted sugarcane if you built that sugarcane farm. And you start saving up your sugarcane like I have. And that's also why I'm not making much money. I only have 22 million because I'm saving all this up. And once you get four stacks, then you can upgrade to this along with four stacks of Jacob tickets. You can upgrade this to the diamond version. And these are just the base stats, not even including all the enchantments and everything that you keep with it. And as you can see, I'm almost on my 10 million. So that'll put it to its final rarity and you can get a mythic turning sugar, sugar keho. I have mine on blessed so I get more stuff. That's all for today's video. I hope you guys liked, comments, and enjoyed this video. Why don't you guys go check out some of my other videos. I also do other Hypixel Skyblock. I am doing a series currently and well that pretty much is on hiatus right now. Then please like, comment, subscribe. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. See ya.